So Kai, science and technology are always advancing. And I'm wondering, in your field, do you have people watching what next technology is available to then fold into your profession? Yeah, we, we have that all the time. We have people looking up at uh, VR. We have people looking, technologists working for us. So it's constantly at move. Okay, so it's not just ad slogan people. You have people, you have a, you have a conduit <laughs> into ways that you can get your message across. Oh, not yes. Not just yes. a set of people coming up with slogans. Well, and jingles. Jing you might want to say jingles <laughs> and I like slogans. a jingle, but yeah. Um, <laughs> but, so, so you, yeah, you we, employ we, technologies. We, we apply technologies. And here's the thing, because we're only limited by our imagination. So we deploy science and art you know, to build our brands. And people like you, we would love to work with you and collaborate with you, Neil. And to see get that where, get that? <laughs> where we can go, <laughs> where we can go uh, from here. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and now, look, can you imagine out there on the moon? How cool would that be, or even fantastic, to put a message on the moon? Right? It'd be a Beam it up. Do you think that could it'd be, be done? It'd be extraordinary, but a little creepy. Mm -hmm. Do you um, think that could be done? I, well, we put messages everywhere else we've been, right? And yeah. people say, oh, the moon is sacred and this. But you know how many rocks there are in space? I mean, space is huge. To say, let's not put something in space, yet I have billboards in front of my home, I think it's, it's short-sighted to think sure. that ads wouldn't one day end up somewhere wherever humans are. Yeah. <laughs> so the frontier in one place, for me in astrophysics, could easily also serve as the frontier for other places, and vice versa. When I'm trying to get the message across, I didn't invent Twitter, but I use Twitter, and I'm still surprised every morning I wake up and I have 2.1 million Twitter followers. I mean, amazing. I, I, I want to say, wait, forward. didn't I remind you I'm an astrophysicist? Yeah. Did you? Do you feel the pressure? Did you, you can still back out. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel the pressure from 2.1? Well, I do because everything I say will then be thought of and reacted to by people who are not just scientists. Most of my life I talk to, to scientists, but mm -hmm. when it's in the public and you know, I put out a few tweets about the movie Gravity. They got mm -hmm. some of their yeah, physics wrong. Yeah, yeah. It was on the morning news. I know. And I, I saw that. And it's like, my gosh. I know. I saw what that. Did I, what? So there's a little bit of science working its way sure. through the media channels yeah. that you guys yeah. invent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's an extraordinary yeah. fact. Yeah, yeah. So Isn't I've it come, incredible? I, I've come mm. to conclude that because of this, I've come to conclude that I'm not making people interested in the universe. I think there's, a, there's an ember burning deep within us all. And if I have ways to feed that, I can fan that ember and maybe ignite it. Well, maybe, maybe you forgot you had it, but it's there and it's coming absolutely. through these media channels yeah. and marketing channels. Yeah, and we would like to tap into that energy of discovery, you know, like you have. But people like learning something new. They like, that even if they don't make the discovery, it's something, the, the fact that they've learned something today that, that they, that they yeah, didn't know yeah, yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and they're always uh, looking at new things as well. In our business, in our media world, we're looking for information all the time. So please let me know when you first you know, discover another star. <laughs> <laughs> call me. Okay, I'll call. I'll put you on my, on my, on my list. <laughs> <laughs> because you know, here's the thing. You know, we would love to tell more great brand stories by the With way, our clients out there. for me, you know the value of a story? It allows you to connect elements of life that you previously might not have thought would be connected. And a good story accomplishes this. And it allows you to remember much more context and information and insight than if you're just spitting out little bits here and there with no connectivity at all. And when you remember a story, the whole story comes up together. Yeah. Yeah. The entire yeah. understanding becomes part of that memory. And so I greatly value the st storytelling. We all, as humans. As humans. As genetic humans, sure, we value sure. this. Right now, as we speak, there's a big rocket up there. You know, the probe, the Voyager 1. Voyager exiting. Going through the helopause, exiting, exiting solar the solar system. system. That's a story unto That's itself. That's a story on itself. We have, we have an informational arc of our species attached to that spaceship. That's right. That contains music 
of our culture. Bach, Bach Beethoven? Bach, Beethoven, Chuck Berry. It's got the heartbeat of an unborn infant. That's right. It's got the brain waves. Sounds of cricket. Of a, a woman in love. It's got, <laughs> and, and it's, it's, our, it's, it's the, our, the emissary of our civilization telling stories of That's who right. and what we are. So don't you think one day, you know, this may sound pessimistic, but it's not. When humankind is no longer here, maybe Google will be here. <laughs> but the thing is, this story will continue because that's the story of humanity. Yes, in fact, the life expectancy of this probe is greater than the life expectancy of human beings on Earth. Yeah. So if it's discovered by aliens... If They'll be dancing to Chuck Berry. <laughs> if it's discovered by aliens and they retrace where the probe came from, return to Earth, and it's... Planet right. of the Apes, or whatever is the po post-apocalyptic wow. Earth, they're going to wonder where Chuck Berry is and where ba Bach and Beethoven sure, are. Sure. And I think they, they may be disappointed if we've rendered ourselves extinct by then. Yeah. So I think the greatest of stories not only give us insight and wisdom, but it can also teach us maybe what future we don't want to have. Right, right.